What happens inside your body when someone shoots you with a semi-automatic rifle? What does it do to your tissue, or to your organs, or to your veins, or to your bones? Semi-automatic rifles shoot bullets much faster than handguns. The speed of an assault weapon is substantially higher than the speed of a handgun. And so when that bullet hits the body, the energy that it has is dramatically more. That results in much more destruction. The first thing a bullet does is essentially drill a hole in you. This hole is called the permanent cavity. So the permanent cavity is simply the hole that the bullet is traversing through or creates as it traverses. The size of the hole depends on two factors. It depends firstly on the characteristics of the bullet and how big the bullet itself is and what type of cavity it's creating as it's going through you. That's just a physical hole it's going to literally punch into you. The second factor that uh, one has to be aware of is the speed. And as that energy is imparted into the patient, the higher the speed, the larger a cavity or a wound it will create. And so the cavity could ultimately be actual loss of whole body limbs. As an example, if I were to shoot you through the elbow with a AK-47, your elbow would be physically missing. It would not be present anymore. A bullet from a semi-automatic rifle also creates what is called a temporary cavity. This happens almost instantaneously, in a matter of milliseconds. Imagine in your mind a boat on a still lake. Okay? As that boat starts to power up and go, like for example someone who likes to go water skiing, there's a wake that is created behind the boat. And that wake is the temporary cavity of a bullet. The faster the boat goes, the bigger the wake it creates. And same with a bullet. So as the bullet traverses, the, the energy that's imparted causes those tissues to expand and recoil behind, exactly like the wake behind a boat. The more energy there is, the more cavitation effect you'll see. As the bullet goes through your body, it's not going perfectly straight. Instead, it's experiencing a phenomenon called the yaw. It makes the wound bigger and more serious. You gotta go back to football, right? It's all about the football. So if that football is traveling through the air and it's got a perfect spiral, it has no yaw on it at all. But when you see a little bit of a mistake when the quarterback throws the ball, and that ball has a little wobble to it, it might wobble this way as it's traveling through the air, it may wobble this way as it's traveling through the air, all of a sudden, that becomes a much less precise throw. That is the yaw. And the reason it's less precise <coughs> is instead of shedding all of its energy in one direction to be highly accurate, it's shedding energy in, in other directions. That's the yaw. The bullet is designed so that when it leaves the muzzle, it has no yaw, ideally. It goes straight. But as soon as it hits you, I want that thing to start wobbling as much as it possibly can, up, down, left, right, so when it does, it, has a, it, it imparts more energy into you. It's hitting you, not dead straight, but sideways. And so it's just gonna start tearing you. How badly you're injured also depends on what the bullet hits inside your body. Anytime the bullet crosses a named blood vessel, so if I take out one of the major arteries in the arm, you are at imminent risk of bleeding to death within the next few minutes. Whereas if the bullet crosses your intestine, you and no one treats you, you'll die, but over the next one day or two days, if you don't have any other vascular injury. The bullet may also find a bone on its path. If that's the case, here's what can happen. When a bullet goes into you and it meets a bone, the bone being the hardest structure in the human body, it will immediately slow down or stop. It will, sh it will shed a significant amount of its energy right there. So you'll have a fracture in that bone at the very least, or you'll have a complete destruction of the bone. And the bullet may continue forth. If a bullet still has more energy, it'll go through the bone and then hit whatever's on the other side. If it shatters the bone with a significant amount of energy, then yes, each of those pieces onto themselves may get energy and then start to travel. The rule of anatomy is most major blood vessels travel next to bones. Nerves, arteries, veins travel next to bones. So if I hit a bone really hard with a high velocity bullet and that bone shatters, a shard of that bone could in turn hit one of the blood vessels or could transect the nerve causing secondary damage.